Today's question is, can I use images from the internet in Cricut Design Space? This is the Creative Crafters Podcast. Hi, I'm Bet from Bet's Makes, and this is your questions answered. Well, the short answer, of course, for this is, yes, you can, but there are a lot of differences here. Um, when you use images from the internet and in design space, you have to watch out for a few caveats and considerations. First and foremost, it's critical to understand copyright laws and intellectual property laws. Just because an image is available online doesn't mean you could use it at any time you want. Many images are protected by copyright, meaning you can't use them without proper authorization from the creator. So where does this leave you? Well, the good news is there are plenty of resources for finding images that are free to use for personal or commercial purposes. Websites like Pixabay, Unsplash, Pexels offer a vast collection of high quality, royalty-free images that you can incorporate into your Cricut projects and never have to worry about it. Now, there are some paid sites as well, some more expensive, some less expensive. So you can go to Creative Fabrica, you can go to Design Bundles, and of course there's places like Vectizi and Adobe. There are tons of places where you can get images that you can use from the internet, and they give you either personal or commercial license in order to use those. And then once you've found that perfect image, the next step is to ensure it's compatible format with Cricut Design Space. Remember, you can only use a JPEG, a PNG, an SVG, and a GIF file. If it's not one of those, you may need to convert it. Now, if you're worried about importing them, you simply start a new project, click on Upload, and then click Upload File and find your file. This has been the Creative Crafters Podcast and your questions answered.